Just gonna cover the basics here. It's expressed as percentages, but it's much better to think about it as ratios. It's not really percentages, it's ratios. So we use the percentage symbol because that's what we can use to calculate. But basically you were looking at the ratios of everything compared to the amount of flour that we have. So if I have a basic sourdough recipe, I'm gonna have 100% flour. Okay, let's say we're gonna work with the easiest amount, which is one kilogram of flour for our recipe, which will give you like two or three loaves of bread. It doesn't matter, this is just pretend. So we've got 1,000 grams of flour, then the water is listed as 72%. So 72% of 1,000 is 720. If you have more water than flour, you've got above 100% water and people always say, oh my God, you can't go over 100%. I've had 1 million comments. Don't think about it like a percent, it's like a ratio. It's like if you had something was $1 and it went up 200%, then you've got $2. Now, the other key ingredient that's in everything is salt. And salt is anywhere between 2% and 2.5%. So let's say I'm gonna do 2%. So now I've got 72% water, 720 grams, 20 grams of salt, which is 2% which is 2% of 1,000. That gives you 20 grams of salt. Now, if we have other ingredients, we're still talking about relative to flour. If I add raisins, how much raisins relative to the total flour is, is this? If I have 25% of the weight of the flour, I'd have 250 grams of raisins added into there. Why do we do this? Sometimes you wanna make twice as much bread. Sometimes you wanna make just three loaves of bread. Sometimes you wanna really be able to compare one recipe to the other. Does one have more water? Does one have more flour? You can't really compare that without thinking about them in Baker's Math. Because again, Baker's Math is just the ratio of the ingredients. So I can look at recipe A and say, oh, this one has 72% water. And recipe B says, oh, it has 68% water. That's why it's different. Because the level of water relative to flour is different. Once you learn the ranges for each of these things, you could, you just make up your recipes. I don't have a recipe book. I think, oh, how much water do I want? Okay, let's say 78%. I want, you know, 10% eggs and 30%, whatever. You can just put that together and you just have to know the ranges and how to compensate. For now, when you see a bread recipe or a baking recipe, this method is mostly used for bread. We use a slightly different method just for regular baking recipes like cakes and that sort of thing. Some of them don't have flour or some of them just have a very small amount of flour, so it doesn't make sense to do it that way. The next complicated part is dealing with how do you calculate it when you have a Levan or a Poolish or that sort of thing, a pre-ferment. How do you calculate it when you have a soaker? And those things get a little more complicated and there's a lot of different ways of doing it. I've got a way that I think works really well. There's no set rules for Baker's math. It's everybody uses it slightly differently. I try to use it the way that's just the most logical and the easiest to convert. I just wanna compare recipes and be able to increase or decrease the recipes. So this is the basics of how the Baker's math works. It's about comparing, it's about changing your recipe sizes. It's about doing everything by weight. You can't use uh, volumetric measures with this. It's, it, it's all by weight. I'm talking about things mostly in kilograms, but it works exactly the same for ounces and pounds. And the calculations are a little more harder because the metric system's way better. Uh, sorry people, but it, it is better. We have a Baker's Math 101 PDF available. Just hop over to our website or join our mailing list and you can download that for free. Then what? Also, check out our webinar that we'll be releasing in a couple weeks where we're gonna go into depth Sorry, do you have a date? November 22nd. Also, check out a webinar we'll be hosting on November 22nd. And in that webinar, we're going to go in a little bit deeper to calculate some more complicated recipes using this. So stay tuned for that, and hopefully you can join us. If you would like to dig deeper... <laughs> no. <laughs>